So I'm talking to Lynn from Surfrider, the Vancouver Island chapter, and Lynn has been volunteering with the Elizabeth Buckley Middle School. Yeah, so we're doing a beach cleanup today. Uh, we've been doing monthly beach cleanups since September um, with the school, and it's been a lot of fun. They've been learning a lot about um, what types of things we find on the beach. You know, food wrappers, you know, cigarette butts bottles and cans and that kind of thing. Um, so it's been really educational for them um, and it's been also a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. So Lynn, can you tell me a bit about the Surfrider mission? Yeah, so the Surfrider, we're an international organization. Uh, our main mission is to protect the ocean waves and beaches through a group of activists. Our chapter has been around since 2004 and we've been doing monthly beach cleanups and splash cleanups and school group cleanups and all that kind of stuff. And it's really fun. We've collected a lot of garbage over the years. <laughs> so yeah. I found a piece of styrofoam. These small bits are gonna, fish are just gonna eat these because they're gonna think it's eggs or fish eggs or little jellyfish or anything else. Why is there so much garbage on the, you know, if we're recycling properly? What's the, what's the, a lot of, you know, that? I believe that there's a stat out that it's something like less than 5% of plastics actually get recycled. A lot of people just think it breaks down into smaller and smaller and smaller bits and then it's gone. It's, once it's out of, out of sight, out of mind. Um, but it's all starting to come back to us and we're finding it everywhere. Okay, yeah. So what have you been doing with the kids? So the kids, it's been a lot of fun. So we've been, uh, every month since September, we go down and we clean up this beach. When we collect it all, we bring it back to the school and then we sort it all. When the kids come out here, is, does this get integrated into their curriculum somehow, do you know? Yes, yeah. So their teacher Camille has been telling me about how they've been doing um, their math and environment. And the first time that we did the cleanup, we actually had them do and calculate the percentage of the of the debris that was plastic and paper and that kind of stuff. Yeah. But it's worth it to take the afternoon off and yeah. you know, come out and, and help the kids with the beach cleanup, especially when they're learning so much. And so it's been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying seeing how much they've learned from it. Um, and they have some great ideas as well. I've learned uh, what types of garbage there is, how much of it there is, and that it's a very big problem. Um, I read a letter to Lisa Helps about um, how we could improve the beaches by adding more garbage cans so because people are too lazy to walk up and throw stuff in the garbage and I also thought about how we could maybe add some signs so that um, you can like give people facts. Fun, okay. I think it was very educational and that I've learned so much from it and um, it's really heartbreaking how much garbage you find on the beach. The main thing that you want to do instead of recycling something is just refuse it. So stuff like straws and plastic cups, you know, bring your own cup somewhere. Um, bring your own coffee cup instead of using a paper cup that's plastic, wax lined and, and a plastic lid. Bring your own cup. It's raising that awareness because yeah. a lot of people just don't realize yeah. that there is a problem. There's solution. I mean, the biggest solution is just stop using single-use plastics.